Hey guys, Worker Bears, and welcome back to my FIFA 17 Liverpool remote. In this episode, we'll have a game against Sporting in the group stages of the Champions League. Hey, this is game 5, only one game to go in the group stage for this season. After this game, this game should seal my spot at the top. I, all I have to do is avoid defeat. It's boring to do that. A draw would, would kind of do that. A win definitely would do, do that. They are. Well, now um, we are coming to the conclusion actually, think, of this no, are they Champions two? Cup group stage. Oh, they are. They're two. Five, sorry, they're two points. Yeah, sorted itself. I, no, I'm two. Yeah, two I'm two. I'm two. Yeah, all my stuff. I have to win. Liverpool. To top the group. Wow. Irrelevant. Um, this competition so far. This might my team for goal difference. They have an opportunity already no, in the group to qualify for the knockout stage. Yeah, boy, uh, well, I think if you'd have asked them to start by drawing with this situation, just one point required. But my advice would be to try and win this. <laughs> He's going to defend with six, isn't he? He's going to have those two <laughs> holding midfield players <laughs> and let the, the other four no. go and attack when they can. Yeah, I mean, the two lads in the middle, the two midfielders aren't oh. actually... He can put them in front. Oh, yes. Here, a really good goal. <laughs> Almost looked like an own goal. But, uh, it's Cox and Sullivan. Might be an own goal. To be Let's have a look here. Cox headers the ball down. He's running through. Oh, no, it is an own goal. It's clearly an own goal. What is this guy doing? He stuck his leg in. He's made his own keeper. It... I wonder, is it still a right I'm not sure. Oh, no, it is Cox's goal. Huh, it looked like your bad guy's uh, foot to the ball. But, uh, no, Cox must have... Uh, like... First goal, it's 1-0. It must have just looked like it. The defender is spared an embarrassing Went moment well. and Cox gets the opening goal in sci fi mid. Moving forward with this. Oh, my God. It's Vidal. Oh, it is still Roy Patricia. That's a corner now for Liverpool. Or five hey, seasons in. And if you're new to this, this uh, career mode. In series, so I wasn't too sure whether Roy Patricio would have moved on or retired. Because he's like 27, 28 when the game starts, so yeah. mid 30s now. So played into the middle, blocked well um, by the defender. What uh, can't keep it on the pitch. It's gone out. Clearly, sporting the whole seems him good enough to Here's stand in between goal. their sticks. William Cavallo. Now Adam Milson. Ezekiel Shalotto. Well defended, not just getting across, he thought quickly as well. Now Adam Milson. That's great determination. He's not giving up and he's got the ball back. Well, good through ball. Good interception. Cox. And he could get away here. Moya. Oh, yeah. Can make it 2 0 here. And he does. I lead by two now. 19 minutes two. gone. And it's 2 0. Sporting. For the rest of this match. Aren't getting in touch any of a maestro. To just let that ball trundle yeah. on into the net. Yeah, he's having a little chuckle to himself, and if you're talking about that, I'm sure to his teammates. If you proud of that one? And, uh, this is opening the door for Bruges because if they beat Monaco, last game will have a well, either way, the last game will may have a interesting feel to it. Just widen the. Margin here to 2 0. If Marco beat if Brewster, they could still get into that Europe League spot. Uh, if it's a draw, Spotted well by the Bruce will be out. winning three points. Well, it could be in. 
And here's the shot. Sporting, who are not going to get any points. Points as Moya makes it 3 0 and wraps up three points and top spot for me. He thank you very much. You don't have to blast the, uh, the placement is right. I mean, if you if if someone landed like that in real life, they would very likely have a broken neck. But you know, this is a game, so broken necks don't, don't exist. William Cavallo. Not in this game anyway. All the spotlight at the moment on the manager. And a lot of talk of him taking like some international uh, commitments as well. Awkwardly on their neck. Good thing there's not manager now. Managing an international side is you know, different. When they introduced the um realistic injuries a few years ago. The injuries would be more realistic. Good I was like, Oh my god. So my player is gonna fall over and break their neck every five minutes. <laughs> Whenever I score a goal like that, that's what I thought was going to happen. My players, if they were in that position, would end up with broken freaking necks. Which, I'm sorry, will all but end your career. Good thing about these pitches these days, even when we're getting rain like we're getting here. If you come back from a broken neck, regardless of your... The ball moves so fast across the surface, and that's great for attacking quick play. The shot's off! He's had a go. You don't buy a ticket, as they say, and fair play to him for having a crack. A broken neck pretty much ends anyone's career, no matter the sport. Like, you could be playing ping pong. And it will probably end Good quick. challenge here. Here comes the cross. Now Adam Milson. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Gomez? What's he doing all the way up here? Oh! Looking for a goal. Well, they didn't find. Ezekiel Shalotto. Isn't scoring on uh, too eager to send the ball down in that general direction. Came in with the challenge. See if they can catch my defense when it was weak. But now that they're they are going down there, Gomez has had time to get back there. I mean, you should have used the opportunity. Blowing his whistle. I mean, if a defender gets forward, he leaves a gap. Even if I do have a CDM. Brujar being Monaco, so that will definitely knock Monaco out and that will at least secure Bruges the champ a uh, Europa League the second half of the fifth so match their remember their match fifth match in this group United. stage of the Champions Cup second place spot in the last the day half, it's been a really competitive they're going to have the chance to get because they'll only be we'll one point front. behind Sporting as it stands And it will go into the middle now. Moya! On the verge here of a hat trick, but not yet. Looking to play his hat trick. He's not going to do it. Fully expecting the net to be bulging there. Marvin Zegelar. Here's Ryan Gould. William Cavallo. Now Adam Milson. It's looking good, this move. Now, scores 4 0. Well, definitely, he's going to finish off the move. Definitely going to reduce the gap between the second and third place to one point. They've just run away goal. from them, and they're likely to do that in the match if they keep it's like they like want to actually yeah. take Such part in this. Side on the counter attack because they move the ball from back to front so quickly. It's hard to believe they're going to finish it's going to be with a, a comfortable game. This 4 0. Here's a goal from Monaco. It's a goal from five Monaco. defeats at least. One one. Back to oh wait, we might actually get one point. And there we go. Um, the attacking third. Where we need Monaco to score another goal. Stopping that attack. Oh, nice. Well, that's gone. Back well, there will still be something to play for on the final day. 
Imaka will still have a chance at the end. Getting into the three. He has been pressed there to running the ball out of play. Well, this they, guy looks like he's win. the one the opposition having the most problems with. He's got that ability to find space. A draw would be no distance, and they'll be on one point. Couldn't quite keep his composure there on this slippery five. surface. Yeah, not easy. The ball skidding up very quickly towards him. And uh, Hawks, how did you miss that? I mean, that was gaping, looking for five nil. Time for the substitutes, I think, and the substitution for the home team here. Comes in strongly on the attack here. Why didn't you make a run, Vermeulen? Or however you say his name. I keep and looking at his name and thinking of the uh, guy who used to play for Arsenal. Marvin Zegela. Does he still play for Roma? Thomas Vermeer. Good defending. 20 minutes of the 90 still to play. Just to check on the weather for you. Was never in doubt the game, but certainly this is how they love to play on the break. This time Paul Cox. Nope. Full extension. <laughs> oh, yeah. the save. I, I tried to like, get it back. Let's go. Go to someone for tapping. And, uh, Say he hit into the side net, brilliant. And stuff right there, brilliant stuff. Could be dangerous. Well, they passed their way up into a good position here, and then just lost the concentration, lost the ball as well. Uh, they've got to work hard to try and get it back. The shot's oh over. yeah. Oh, what a goal! That's how you can play a hat trick. Three of the best. He's made them pay, and that completes a wonderful hat trick. That wraps up the three points in style. They will be signing the match ball for him afterwards because of a hat trick. Well, you wouldn't think this was first versus second, granted, the fourth in group, but still. If you're losing count, it's 5 0. When he completes his hat trick, he'll be getting the match ball at the end of the game. Tackle goes in. Might not be done yet. Here. There's the oh. opportunity here. From Helen. Now the shot. And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. Seven minutes to go. Five nil still. And the referee. Not exactly. Uh, what does this mean for their next game? Well, well Liverpool go up against me. Aston Villa, Martin, and uh, and they've done pretty well. Well, the goalkeeper will hope that it stays like that throughout the game. Someone asked me why I'm playing this from Olinga. It's been called a football uh, match. I'm trying to complete one of, of the, uh, between the two sides. Things that the winners conclusively at their my best. Board set me. And the loser. He it's might be through. Real player by... I think it was... Is that five or ten overall to play him in ten games? I think it, it might be five games, so he doesn't have to be a play change here. Game, yeah. And it looks like a strategic one. Gets his foot in there. It would be helped if he has good performances, which he's not happy. The final whistle from the referee. Liverpool have won. He maybe he had a good performance. Uh, Alan, he's going to defend with no. But uh, I think. We'll see. An 8.8. Huh. Well, Cox and Moy got a 10. Where did Cox get? He got one go. Oh, he got three assists. John Dari won. Pass three or four. Uh, yeah, I, I could see why you gave him an 8.8. I love my keeper guy at 7.7 7 for doing nothing. <laughs> so, one all. That means Monaco. The Monaco are out. Monaco are definitely out. They will be playing no more European football after the last group game. But the main team from the game against the other theater section team. Um, yeah.
as we head into December. What was it? Tw 21. Jesus. Um. Sorry, LeBlanc, that will not be happening. You're next. You will be playing in. Not this game against Bolton. You'll actually be playing against Monaco. Oh, so it's Sporting versus. Ooh. That's an interesting one. I would want to keep an eye on. Uh, it won't be in next episode. It'll be in the episode after that. So, Friday's episode. If you're wondering why Liverpool Crow Mode is uh, up today, um, I explained it in yesterday's video. Play. Oh, I don't even have to. No. There we go. Oh, it's two separate, actually. Grow a player by. Grow a youth academy player by five points and play them in five games. And play one youth player in ten games. Uh, I'm using for, my, for both. Because why the hell not? I mean, once he reaches, I think he might even be at five games. I'm not sure. He, he's at least played four. He might be at five. No, he is at four. So, and he's at two. And so he's almost, he's almost already, he's well on his way to completing that. Anyway, on to Aston Villa. Turn my focus to that that requires it the most. That is Aston Villa. I didn't waste too much time. So Hi there, a Premier League game for you today. I'm Martin Tyler, and to call the action alongside me, Alan Smith. Too much, anyone? And here we've got for you today, Aston Villa play Liverpool. Oh, nice early go. Well, let's see if I can't get one from the kickoff. Look at this. Money! Off the post! Damn it! Oh, I thought I was actually going to score from the kickoff. Good challenge here. The ball but from Nathaniel Klein. Off the Oh my god, I hit the post and the crossbar inside five minutes. And that will be Liverpool's throw in. Good anticipation by the opposing player there to read the direction of the throw. And now of a corner. So that means it's a corner now. This is an entertaining as hell for 10 minutes. So close. Rasul. Shots on him. He blocked it then. He blocked. Deli Alley. Well, it wasn't a chance to really get in the goal, but it was a chance to keep the ball. But they're offside. Yeah, sometimes you, you do despair. About the decisions that footballers make. Good header by Renato Sanchez to Del. Z Walkery. He. He. Oh, I hit the crossbar again, for God's sake. That would be a throw. Leandro Bakuna. This is so far going to be called the woodwork match. Makes a challenge here. As I've hit the post and the crossbar a grand total of three times inside 20 minutes. Liverpool. Oh my god. To be champions. If they go on and score, I might actually just break my Just need to keep it going. Onto the attack. To Sanchez. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. What was that guy saying? They've set it up well for the cross. Yeah, it's some sort of weird name. I don't. It could lay it off. I didn't quite play. see it. The uh, attack has fizzled out here. Goal kick. That was a corner. T. Weirich. What? Jordan Veretout. Dude, 
your surname spelt wrong. Martinez. Hmm. Or else you're, you're some. What? What the hell is going on? Who the hell is Thank this guy? Here. Moving from one side to the other. I don't care, but. Couch attack could be on here. Oh. Actually, no, I don't care. Comes in with a tackle. Get. Possibility. Money. There we go. Finally, I didn't hit. <laughs> it took 30 minutes to have a shot not hit the woodwork. It was almost an air of, well, we expected this. Took the ball from, from Sissoko. Extravagant. I think they know that oh, the how's that, really how's that to um, to move to Aston Villa working out? Better? Yeah? Uh, Good? Uh, they know they're better and they're showing out on that pitch. <sighs> Being a Liverpool left back must just make you cursed or some shit. Reno's awful. Sissoko awful. And that like, has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Now, it's just not a popular position. to work hard and uh, it's a given really but this guy, they figures about his running and the distance he covers incredible yeah his stamina is, is wonderful I mean you're born with that kind of stamina I think he makes the full use of it Jordan Veratou Ali Sissoko oh, they gave it straight to him didn't they Renato Sanchez could be dangerous that's well, a nice bit and here's the shot oh what a goal oh what a goal from Renato that is 2-0 and that is beautiful well we see it again how close it was to maybe hitting the post and staying out Beal, every he won it goes, it mm. he was like no one is stopping me from getting there. through this defense but, uh, he didn't look too pleased when it and it yeah no one stopped me from lashing this in off the post the woodwork actually helps me this time instead of denying me but that's still four times I've hit it. That's two now each for the post and the crossbar. Just Good stuff. The uh, woodwork match goals. continues, only it's two no, not no, no. And I uh, will still be angry if they score, but I won't be as angry if they were no, no. Martinez. So, blinded with rage. Here's a chance to attack. To get back in the game. He's got to it. And he's played the ball too. Deli Ali. Coutinho. Go on, Phil. Go on. It could be a chance. <laughs> on target again. 3 0. With a touch of magic about it. That is the game. And the points wrapped up. And the captain scores. Replay confirming for us here that the goalkeeper did as get well. a touch. But not strong enough. The traffic come he also has well, he this season. Done. He hasn't got a lot. Critic, this lad, and he'll blame himself for that. I think. Then again, he hasn't been banging them in left, right, and center for the past four seasons. Three goals as Premier League. Well, this is Premier League football from Liverpool today. <laughs> Gary Gardner. <laughs> I think Firmino only has two or three as well, so it's not like that's the lowest of the signal for half time. midfielders. Three nil is the score line at this point. Unless Firmino has four, it's which case attacking. it is. If Firmino scores, we'll find out. Yes, the coach might have said, well, if they can do no, that in one half, you can do it in the other half. But it's going to take a lot of character for the losing goal side for to fight back. Brazilian? Who, uh, be a very who uh, a lot of defenders between them and while he's playing Cam the here, he'll be playing a much different Season role defending. next. Not perhaps season. the best cross. Mm. And next FIFA. In his time at Southampton, Sadio Mane. I uh, from all the big probably be using him as my main striker. I don't know how well that's gonna go. He felt to Liverpool. 
and may end up rotating him and Divo Garrigue a lot. The the get set, and that's how he got his goal. If EA don't screw Origi over and give him a proper rating, instead of, oh, we'll raise him one. What? No, don't don't raise him one. Like. Well, a real treat in two or three. For you. Come on. Coverage on EA Sports of the and fixture. Aston Villa. Maybe I sound biased because he's a Liverpool yeah, player, but supporters. I, this is how they love to the break. There is a lot for the Rockery, and, and people are just Alan not noticing it. Well, it hasn't come. Up. Oh yeah. I mean, if he hadn't gotten injured, I guarantee you, Dave Rockery would be. He was one of the most Liverpool feared the strikers in the Premier League right now. Because he was scoring left, right, and center until Funes fucking mo he, he stuck his stupid hose where it didn't fucking belong. By the way, um, where what happened to his lifetime ban? Which he didn't get. Which he should have gotten. Because he was a fucking asshole. Oh, he had a real go. Well, you can't knock him. He was in the right oh. place at the right time. I, I, I thought Everton fans actually would turn against him. No, nope. they they've completely in. forgotten that happened. Barrientos. And they don't seem to teammates who are to recall the same it. Wavelength. We've had an hour gone. Because I, 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 I was talking to a friend of mine who was an Everton fan. Forward. I was like, with some danger. Here's a chance. Who, uh, oh, they were linked. With Van Dyke, and he said they didn't need Mr. Rack after signing Michael Coon because they have well, the a good the feud. Played, Ooh, and when he mentioned Fuiz Mari, I was like, and they couldn't live with him. Well, sure, you hate him and want to see have. him die, right? Well, you don't remember what he did? It's a wonderful finish. He he had forgotten. He had forgotten. I mean. Yeah, they lost that Dari 4 0. That doesn't mean you forget what happened during it. Oh, not for me. I only had two goals. That was his third. It's turning out to be a, a comfortable third. game. This yeah, it's 4 0, by the way. Um, yeah. It's, it's, it's a joke. Like. Moving forward. With some danger to the opposition now they're here. Gets his foot in there. So, being racist and buying people. Oh. Okay. That, that. I'm not saying that shouldn't be less punished, but you're telling me that hurting other professional footballers and being legitimately glad that you did it. Celebrating like you fucking accomplished something instead of hanging your head in shame and practically begging for forgiveness. This. It's a heading chance now. This. That's not punished severely? He only got a few game ban. the through pass. Oh, a chance. A oh, great work by the keeper. It's an absolute joke. Coming up, a corner. If you ooh, hurt someone, you should be apologetic. Origi didn't do anything to Fulis Mari. He didn't. Go back and watch it. Fulis Mari is a fucking cunt. He should have gotten a lifetime ban. Everton fans shouldn't just forget it happened. Because it didn't. Decisively by the defenders. Because they can't say, oh, it didn't happen. Or they can't forget what did happen. Side to the other. And shoots! The defenders managed to get in the way there. Excellent piece of block. And even some Liverpool fans seem to have forgotten it happened. Because. Not that we forgot in terms of Funes Mari, but some fans seem to have forgotten that Rigi is a good goal scorer. He has one or two games where he doesn't score a goal, and Liverpool fans, some Liverpool fans are jumping down his neck, saying, get him off and sub him 
and sub started John. I'm like, do you remember before he got injured, he was scoring goals left, right, and center? Do you not remember that? Ali Sissoko. It boggles my mind. Well here. I seem to be the only one who's capable of remembering that. And I have a terrible memory. The team is lining up for the corner. It's an absolute joke. Anyone who who criticizes Arigi and doesn't and stop and say, hang on a second, this is just the same in player who, who was scoring left, right, and center until he was injured by some cunt from the blues height. Well, they're getting set he, and for the corner. It wasn't because he was an every player. It doesn't matter who he plays for. Her, Strong, her. He could play he for Sunder and Watford, Hull, whoever. It doesn't matter. Attacking he happened to play for Everton. Which I heard some people say, you know, he got caught in the uh, Merseyside dock. Maybe atmosphere, and that's what caused him to. Do it. Sums it up, really. yeah, Fair enough. Their if there's been red cards in derbies before, and there'll be the red cards in derbies in the future. But if you celebrate, you are happy that you hurt someone to the point where he had to be stretched off. He missed some games, and people. Well, now criticize him when he's not scoring goals. You're losing count. It's Instead of remembering, oh, he got injured because of some cunt. We should give him the benefit of the doubt. We should not jump down his neck if he has one game where he doesn't score or two games where he doesn't score. But they've kept their focus this side, and it's a quick break. And here's the shot. Well, it's a wild moment from a normally very cool customer in front of goal. Well, if I dropped it. everyone who didn't play, he just expected to score there, and he didn't give it his full concentration. Huh? To everyone and subbed off everyone who wasn't scoring goals on a regular basis. Every single one of my players would be wanting to, he because everyone goes some time without scoring. No one's prolific enough to score in every single game. Even Jamie, he already when he was on the run of uh, breaking Van Nistelrooy's record. Even he eventually, he did, he'd run out of games where he was scoring goals. So to jump down a player's neck, when you know he had an injury, that wasn't his fault, is an absolute disgrace. David Caballero out for seven days. Great. He was supposed to play in this game. Ah. <laughs> uh. I guess there's only one thing to do. Drop Caballero and cast him to the wayside. No. 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 That's not what's going to happen. He's going to come back seven days out. He's just going to miss this game. Uh, he wouldn't play in the game against Monaco. He'll be back for whatever the next game is. This is core final. So, uh, I guess the FA Cup. Yeah, the FA Cup would be the next logical place where he would play which he'll be far and away back from he'll be uh, definitely back in time for anyway that is the end of this episode thanks for watching hope you enjoy smash the like button if you did subscribe if you're new and until next time hope you all have a very very nice day peace